and welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're a returning member, hit that like button if you enjoy the content as we go through. Um, today we're going to be looking back at the a V block assembly model that we were looking at for the CSWA sample assessment. Um, this is going to be the second part of that tutorial, so if you've not seen the first one, please go back and have a look at that. I'll leave the link in the top corner there for you. Um, uh, what we've done so far is we have modelled up the three components. So we've modelled up the V-block, the yoke and the adjusting pin. And now what we're after doing is making the assembly and finding out the position of the centre of mass. So we were going to dive in and have a look at that. And I'll show you a couple of different methods of how we can go around doing that. So let's jump into our assembly then. So when we open up an assembly, we will end up with this page and we should start off with our components down the side. Now if you've modelled them, saved them and keep them open, they will end up here. If you haven't, if you've closed your models off, you just need to browse for them in here and find them in the safe locations. Um, now, when we went back to last the uh, last tutorial, you'll remember that we modelled the V-block and we started with the model in exactly the right corner stated on the um, drawing that we're given. So we started off with the bottom left hand corner of the V block on the, our origin position. Now what that means is um, when I insert this model I have a origin that I can work with. So there's two ways of doing this. Let's, let's look at the most simple one first. Um, because I've inputted my model uh, or started drawing my model in the right position for my origin. So what I can do is I can click on the V-Bot there and what we'd like normally to do is drag this in and drop it somewhere. Well, rather than dropping it, I can just go to tick here. Okay. And what that will do is it will drop our model um, origin position onto the origin position of the page and it will fix it in place. So what we should find is the, the origin position of our model now, which should be this bottom corner here. So I'll show you that. Origin position there is highlighted in this bottom corner is the same as the origin position for the bottom for this um, model itself on the page. Now that's the um, that's one method of doing this. And if we check where the origin position is on the page, you'll see there that it is in exactly the same position. So there are two origins. Now the other way of doing that, uh, let's go and undo putting that component in, is to insert my component. And uh, I can go to the V-block, I can drop it in like we, um, do most of the time and what I want to do then is this is just dropped into space somewhere we can connect we can join up our origins so if I go to my V block uh, model here or component I can float that because at the moment we see that little F there which says it's fixed if I click float we'll get this little dash line which means now I can move that around <clears throat> Now what I want to happen is my two origins to be matched up. So I've got the origin for my component and the origin for my page. So I can mate, and I can mate them based on um, the origins. So I'm gonna mate the origin of the page, which you can see is over here, to the origin of the component, which is there. And you'll see they'll move into position Tick there, like so, exit that, and if I now come back to this V-block and fix that, it just means now that it's mated to that origin's position, it's fixed in place, and um, when I assemble this model with the rest of the components, this component won't move, it's fixed. So let's have a look at assembling the other components to this uh, v block base. So I'm going to go back to insert components 
and I am gonna now just drop both of these in. So what I can do is I can hold control and highlight both and I'm just gonna drop these in here. Uh, typical, I've clicked the V block again of another. So let's get rid of that V block. And I'm just gonna drop in the adjusting pin, like so. Okay, so we've got these in place on here. We just need to now assemble them. So I'm gonna mate them together. So we're using the mate tool at the top. I'm gonna start off by taking this inside face here and mating it with that face there. Take at the top. I also then want to um, take this bot top face here and the underside face of this here and it'll pull up online like so now if we've modeled this correctly you should see that it fits perfectly into the gap at the bottom and also this cut out here as well which we have so we're good with that now we're also asked to um, offset this face to this face by 60 so i'm going to click that face and click that face That'll pull it online, but if I come here to um, distance and then change that to 60, let's uh, just undo that a second. Now, what happened there was I Okay, so I've done that. Um, I hadn't had number locks on, so therefore um, it didn't type in. So let's try that again. Let's mate this front face and this front face. And if I change that there to 60, it will now offset by 60 and take there. Okay, so last point to this then is to mate um, the adjusting pin through this top section here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the circular face there and the inside of that hole as well. What that will do is it'll pick up on concentric and make them two circles concentric like so. Now the last part of this is just to set a height. Now in the model itself it sets this bottom face here aligned with this top face. Now that's obviously adjustable in this case but for this model, we'll just follow that same principle. Like so. Now we've got this in place. Um, uh, I'm just gonna put it into an isometric view so we can see that a bit better. And take care. Okay, so we've got that model now um, fully assembled. What we do want to know is what is the posi uh, position for the center of mass. So we're gonna to go to uh, evaluate. I'm gonna to go to mass properties. I'm gonna rebuild that. And it will come up with a position of mass. And it's saying it's 30 to 39.94 to 53.82. So it is ever, ever so slightly out on the Y direction. So we would be looking at, if we go to our um, original question. We would be looking at our center of mass being this bottom one, this D value here. Okay. So just a quick one to work out there. Um, hopefully that's been useful for you. I'll drop back into the model. And um, that gives us our center of mass value. Now, if you found that useful, please give um, a thumbs up to this content. Please give a like, that like button. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if there are any tutorials or any videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave a comment and I'll, get, and I'll see if I can support you with that in terms of delivering some of that content. So I'll just say on that point, thanks for watching um, and we will see you in the next tutorial. So 
Bye for now.